I'm back at it again. Investor Knowledge Quiz. Come on, take the quiz with me. What's up? What's up? It's your boy Ty. I appreciate you guys coming to my channel to check me out. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that notification bell because I always have plenty to talk about. My channel is all about making sure people are aware of the different avenues to get a piece of the pie. And today we're going to be doing an investor knowledge quiz. I did a quiz a little earlier this week and it was well received and i actually enjoyed it because i like going through learning things especially with the audience i don't act like i know everything so it's fun to learn and you know go through it with you guys so that's what we're gonna do with this investor knowledge quiz is another quiz that i haven't taken yet but i found it on finra.org and i said i might as well do it again all right, and you guys can take it along with me. Let me know what you get on the answers, if you get it right or wrong. All right, so investor knowledge quiz. Millions of Americans and countless others around the world invest in the US equities markets. Some directly, others through pension plans, mutual funds, and other vehicles. While some investors rely on professionals for advice, People do hire professionals and people even sign up for professional stock advice like The Motley Fool and other subscriptions where they actually suggest stocks. Others choose to chart their own investment course, but regardless of exactly where they invest and whose advice they seek, FINRA believes all investors should have access to basic educational information about investing. All right, so in FINRA, we surveyed investors to get an idea of what people know and what people may not know about investing. This quiz includes some of the questions from our survey and explains the correct answers. As part of FINRA's mission of protecting investors and ensuring market integrity, we are committed to providing objective educational information for investors. You can find additional information on these quiz questions and other topics in investor information. So this is the first time I'm about to take this quiz and you can take the FINRA quiz. So it's a pretty good mission statement. They're all about making sure people are aware of how to invest in educational information regarding investing, which I agree. Everybody should know a little bit about investing before they just dive in and, you know, take people advice. But we're going to take this quiz. Let me know how you guys do on the quiz as we go along. And again, this is my first time taking it. So hopefully I get it right. Let's hit take the quiz all right and how many questions is this thing all right so it's just we're gonna hit take the quiz stop playing with me now all right it's 15 questions 15 questions any multiple choice you gotta love multiple choice investor knowledge quiz question one if you buy a stock a you own part of the company B, you have lent money to the company. C, you are liable for the company's debt. D, the company will return your original investment to you with interest. All right, so if you buy a company's stock, you own part of the company. You haven't lent the company money you aren't liable for the company's debt and nobody if you buy a stock nobody's gonna give you a return on your investment with interest no that ain't how it works that's not how it works so i'm gonna put you own part of the company so next oh they don't tell you 
Okay. I guess they don't tell you to the end if you get it right or wrong. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Investor knowledge quiz question two. And let me know how y'all doing. If you buy a company's bond. So bonds. I'm not too savvy on bonds. I don't own any bonds. But let's see. You own part of the company. You have lent money to the company. You are liable for the company's debt. You can vote on shareholder resolutions. All right, so a bond is basically a promissory note, if I understand it correctly. You, um, you, you buy a bond and then they promise you that you will get a certain rate on return, certain interest rate. So I'm going to put lent money to the company. All right, let's go to the next one. Which type of bond is the safest? Oh, my bad. Investor knowledge quiz question number three. What type of bond is the safest? U.S. Treasury bond, municipal bond, corporate bond. Don't know. Um, I'm going to hit U.S. Treasury bond because it's with the government. So you would think that's the most safest one. And we're going to ride with it. Investor knowledge quiz. Question number four. In general, if interest rates go down, then bond prices. Oh, again, tricky. All right. So if the interest rate goes down. The price of the bond go down or up, down or up, down or up. I think if interest rates go down, the price of the bond goes up. That's what we're going to ride with. Let me know what you think. And that's that's what I'm riding with. We're going to see if I get it right at the end. Investor knowledge quiz question five. And that's why I like doing this. You know, I don't ever claim to know everything, but, you know, uh, I know a little bit about investing and we can learn together how to get a piece of this pie now. So question five, which of the following is the best definition for a junk bond, a junk bond? Oh, man, I feel like I know this one. All right, a bond that is rated below investment grade by rating agencies, a bond that has declined dramatically in value, a bond that has defaulted, a bond that is not regulated. Oh, I don't even, I know ain't no bond ain't regulated. I don't want no parts of that. Uh, any parts of that. Excuse my grammar. I am a little country. All right, so I think a bond that has dr declined dramatically or a bond below investment grade. Do, do, do. By agency. Junk bond. Junk. Junk bond. So I'm going to hit A. A bond that is rated below investment grade by rating agencies. Junk. Somebody then deemed it. It's a junk bond. All right. Investor knowledge quiz. Question number six. A no low mutual fund is one that carries no fees, carries no sale charge, does not contain high risk securities, has no limit on the periods of time in which it can be brought and sold. I'm gonna go with carries no sale charge. Carries no fees, carries no sale charge. It carries no sales charge, so no load charge. In general, investments that are riskier tend to provide higher returns over time than investments with less risk. So riskier investments can give you much greater returns than investments that are less riskier. You know, it's kind of 
with all investments like that's why people invest different ways in their retirement portfolio and you and in different funds um so yeah i'm gonna say that's true if it's a riskier investment it has the potential to over time give you greater return than a slow and steady grower yeah i'm gonna say that's true next investor knowledge quiz question eight which of the following organization ensures you against your losses in the stock market is it the fdic federal deposit insurance corporation finra financial industry regulator authority the sec securities and exchange commission sipc securities investor protection corporation man <laughs> Oh man, he trying to stump your boy on this one. Um, first off, I like to say I'm not sure what all of these do. The only one that I know is the SEC and you know Security and Exchange Commission because they be cracking down on people. They cracking down on crypto. They, they crack down on Robin Hood. They crack down on people. The rest of them, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but what I do think that stands out in this question is insures you against your losses in the stock market. I'm thinking, is this a trick question? Cause who gonna insure? You telling me I can insure my losses? So like, if I lose all my money, I can go knocking on somebody's door, say, hey, I need that back. My insurance gonna kick in. Man, come put none of the above. I could be wrong, you know, um, let me know in the comments, but I could be wrong, but that's why I'm going with this. Anybody going to insure me my losses? And, nah. All right. Investor knowledge quiz question nine. If a company files for bankruptcy, which of the following securities is the most at risk of becoming virtually worthless? is most at risk not is the most but is most at risk of becoming virtually worthless is it the company's preferred stock the company's common stock the company's bond i think it's the company's common stock that's the stock that's held by most of the shareholders common stock i'm going with common stock investor knowledge quiz question 10 which of the following best explains why many municipal bonds pay lower yields than other government bonds municipal bonds are lower risk there is a greater demand for municipal bonds municipal bonds can be tax free municipal bonds can be tax free i know that so that's what we're gonna go with municipal bonds. Investor knowledge quiz question 11. You invest $500 to buy $1,000 worth of stock on margin. Oh, hell no. I don't mess with margin. I don't buy anything on margin because you know, you trying to take 500 to buy 1,000 and that's not a smart move you're you playing with money you don't even have all right so okay we're gonna keep going with the question the value of the stock drops 50 percent you sell it approximately how much of your original 500 investment are you left with in the end all right so you had 500 and you used it to buy 1000 it dropped fifty percent. So that one thousand turned to five hundred, and then you sold it. Shoot, do you owe money? Because they gave you five hundred. 
You sold it. Yeah, you ain't got no money left. Because you just lost their 500, which was your 500. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't got no money left. That's why I'm going with it. Because you had 500. And, you know, they gave you 500. And then it dropped 50%, which was 500. And you sold it. Yeah, you don't have any money left. <laughs> That's why you don't play with margin. Don't play with margin. Don't even call her. Leave her alone. Investor Knowledge Quiz Question 12 Which is the best definition of selling short? Selling shares of a stock shortly after buying it? Uh, selling shares of a stock before it has reached its peak? Uh, selling shares of a stock at a loss? No. Selling borrowed shares of stock. Yes, selling short is selling borrowed shares of stock. Got it, got it. All right, they were whooping me on some of these th questions. Investor knowledge quiz, question 13. Hedge funds are always subject to the same rules and regulations as mutual funds. Yeah, I'm going to hit true. I think everybody has to follow the same rules and regulations. Next. Investor knowledge quiz, question 14. The principal difference between mutual fund share classes A, B, C, etc. is the different investment each class makes, the different fees and expenses each class charges, the different investment professionals in charge of managing each class. Huh. So, this one a little tricky. I don't know much about class A, B, and C stocks, uh, well, mutual funds. I know stocks. And a lot of times stocks, it just has um, certain certain shares like Google. Google, I think Alphabet has two different class shares. And one just gives you vote voting rights and the other doesn't, I don't think. So... Um, so I don't think it's different investments. I don't think it's managed by different people. I think it's probably just some different fees and expenses associated with it because of the rights that you get. Uh, I'm just, of course, they talking about mutual funds. I'm talking about regular stocks, but that's the only thing I can. I'm not really on mutual funds. I don't own any mutual funds. So I'm not sure. I do I do it in my retirement. But it's not something I touch on a daily basis like my stocks. So yeah, I'm gonna go with B. Yeah, we're gonna ride with it. If I got it wrong, I got it wrong. A section 529 plan is a tax advantage way to save for school college. I got that. I know I got that. Next. Alright, so we about to see what my score is. Ain't now here. Is it? Nah. Okay. So we're going backwards. All right. A section 20, uh, 529 plan is a tax advantage way to save for college. Of course, I know that. Yeah. Okay. The principal difference between mutual fund shares, class A, B, C, etc. The different fees and expenses each class charges. Oh, hedge funds are always subject to the same rules and regulations as mutual funds. False. Oh, okay, my bad. Got that wrong. Hedge funds are basically private investment pools because they are usually only open to limited number of wealthy, financial, sophisticated investors and do not advertise or publicly offer their securities. Private hedge funds are usually not required to register with the SEC. Okay, so that's for the high rollers. Hedge funds are for high rollers. So they don't gotta abide by the rules. Test crazy. That's crazy. They straight tell you that. It's 
So they high rollers. They don't have to play by the rules. So okay, sorry. I got that one wrong. I take it. I take it. So hedge funds are different than mutual funds. They get they don't have to register with the SEC. Alright, so I got that one wrong. Let me know if y'all got that one right or wrong. What y'all thought about that one? Which is the best definition for selling short? Selling borrowed shares of a stock. That is the definition. I know that. You guys should know. And the one about you invest 500 to buy 1000 worth of stock on margin. Of course, you lost your money. Again, you lost that $500. You only had $500. You lost that $500. So you end up with zero. Don't mess with margin. Any of our new traders, if you are seasoned and you know you're watching this channel, good for you. Hopefully, you you know be careful with that margin. But me, nah, I ain't never playing with the margin because you're borrowing money you don't have. I'm good. Which of the following best explains why municipal bonds pay lower yields than other government bonds because they can be tax free? Got that right. If a company files bankruptcy, which of the following securities is most at risk of becoming virtually worthless? The company's common stock always, always go straight to the regular shareholders and, you know, try to leave them holding the bag with zero. Which of the, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Which of the following organization issuers ensures you against your losses in the stock market none when you invest in stock you accept risk that your investment may decline as well as rise in value so ain't nobody gonna protect you if you invest in stocks i knew it i knew they was trying to trick you up with all the different authorities up here of course i don't know what each one of these do but i think they got them down here yeah they do they do all right a primary role of security regulators such as FINRA and the SEC is to ensure that securities law and regulations are followed and to punish punish violators. Yep, that's what the SEC is doing all day. All right, and then we come down the FDIC generally issues checking, savings and other deposit accounts. All right, and then the SIPC is to return funds and securities to investors if the brokerage firm holding these assets is, it becomes insolvent. All right, so that was just a little breakdown on what each one of them, I learned something just then, what each one of those authorities do. And question seven, got that right. In general, investments, that are riskier tend to provide higher returns. True. And a no low mutual fund is one that carries no sales charge. Not all mutual funds charge a sales loads called no load funds. Learn something, learn something on that one. I was halfway guessing on that. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I'm not gonna lie. Which of the following is the best definition for a junk bond? A bond that is rated as below investment grade by tra rating agencies. All right, so yep, junk bond or high yield bonds. In general, if interest rates go down, and bond prices go up. The cardinal rule of bonds, when interest, interest rates fall, bond prices rise. And when interest rates rise, bond price fall. So just remember, if interest rates go up, bonds go down. If interest rates go down, bonds go up, you know, vice versa. Which type of bond is the safest U.S. Treasury? Is government backed? Of course, it's government backed. Easy. 
if you buy a company bond you have lent money to the company all right that's what bonds are bonds are loans that investors make to corporate to a corporation or a government body in exchange from regular interest payments so that's basically what a bond is and if you buy a stock easy you own part of the company so your boy got a 93 a 93 on the investor knowledge quiz 93 let me know what you guys got i ain't perfect i never said i was perfect but hopefully you guys learned something this is a i like doing these videos again i like learning you know at first my channel was a lot it had it was heavily involved in education and learning and i kind of switched it up just a little bit because um once i had already said everything i needed to say about investing you guys can always go back and look at those videos but those videos weren't as popular as some of the other videos that i did where you know i might be suggesting a crypto or suggesting a stock of course it's not financial advice but i talk about them those videos actually did better so to say that's what did better than actually learning you have a lot of lazy investors out here that's what that shows me and lets me know and people rather hear suggested stocks you know put some they want you to put something on their radar opposed to actually learning and educating themselves about investing that's what that shows me that's what that lets me, lets me know because again when i was doing my educational videos they didn't get as much play and spin as suggesting something or seeing something real quick on robin hood and you know with a nice beat because that's what i was doing i was entertaining people with that and you know they still were great articles i still do that but i still want people to understand how to get a piece of the pie i still want people to want to learn so i'm gonna start doing a little bit more of investing knowledge information too you know for the people that do want to learn of course i got the other information you know the other videos with a little hype i like doing those too i like it all but um i'm gonna do a little more of these too and this is gonna be a consistent thing going forward i believe but let me know what you guys think about it again i got a 93 let me know what you got and i appreciate y'all checking me out come back and see me peace